Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Giving all honor to God. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. And today we'll come out of the book of Mark, the second chapter, 15 first. That's Mark 2 and 15. And it reads out of the King James Version. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many, and they followed him. Again, and it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many, and they followed him. Now when you read this verse, it's kind of describing what's going on. It doesn't really say a whole lot. But you've got to look at the hidden meaning of this verse. And this is that Jesus I says, as Jesus sat at meat in his house. So this is, this is uh, reference to Jesus being home at his house. And he said that many publicans, and uh, publicans are, are basically tax collectors. Um, and they were really uh, disliked. Uh, you could say they were, they were hated when uh, you do some reading, say they were, they were hated because they extorted money. You know, they, they, they would take taxes plus a little bit more for themselves from people. And um, the publicans, they, they hired uh, and they, they, they had other subordinates to work for them, and uh, they normally hired other Jews. So now you had Jews collecting tax from Jews and extorting money from Jews. So, you know, they, they, were, not, they were not very well liked. And it says in sinners, and we don't know what type of sinners, but we know that the, 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 uh, the people that Jesus was eating, eating dinner with, they weren't Christ like. Okay, let's just say they weren't Christ-like. They, uh, they weren't the pillar of the community. They weren't, they weren't the ones that you look up to uh, in, the, in the community. They were sinners. They were looked down upon. And there was Jesus and his disciples. There was Jesus and his disciples. And see, some people had some problems with that. Because, you know, the thing was, for the Jews, you know, they didn't associate with Sinners. They didn't associate with people who weren't, you know, if, if, I'm a, if I'm a scribe or if I'm a Pharisee or a Sadducee, you know, I, I, try, I try to stay away from sinners. I try to stay away from, from people who weren't, who weren't trying to live a godly life or who wasn't going through the motions of living a godly life. Um, because that's kind of what uh, the scribes and the Pharisees and Sadducees did. You know, um, so, th you know, they, they kind of distanced themselves away from sinners. But see, Jesus didn't come to distance himself from sinners. He didn't come to, to say, hey, I'm Jesus. This is how you should live to get to heaven. Oh, by the way, I don't hang out with sinners. That's not Jesus. That, that is not Jesus' attitude. Jesus came so that he could bring sinners to God, to his Father. He, he wanted to save sinners. He, he was here to save sinners. Those who needed to be saved. He's here to save us. You know, when um, a lot of people think, you know, of all the things that I've done, you know, there's no way, there's no way God can love me. God does love you. Jesus wants to bring you to God. And, 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 and it doesn't matter what you've done or how you've done it or when you've done it. God still loves you. And, and nothing that you do can diminish his love for you. And he wants you to sit in his house while he's eating meat so he can talk to you about his kingdom and what he has in store for you. That's the relationship that Jesus wants to have with you today. Today. He, he wants to, and it says here, for there were many, and they followed him. And what were they following Jesus for? Because, you know, when, when, when we're living in sin, at least for me, and I think most people, you are looking for pleasures, and, and you're looking for things that, that, that give you some relief of stress, that, uh, that takes you away from, uh, from the daily things that you deal with. And, and that's not, you know, it's, it's different ways that people do that, but that you're trying to find something to give you comfort, to give you peace. And people do that by drinking, by partying, you know, by, ha by, by having uh, affairs and, and, and and, 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 you know, gambling with a whole bunch of men and women and, you know, and because they're trying to find that peace. 
these sinners realize that that peace could come from Jesus. So they were many and they followed him because they were they realized that hey, everything that I've been looking for in my sinful life, I can get through Jesus. And not only can you get it through Jesus, it's much more effective and it's everlasting. It's, it's not a temporary fix. You know, when I was in sin, I did things and it was a temporary fix. And when, and, and, you know, when I finished doing whatever I was doing, you know, when I, everything was just the way I left it, just waiting on me to come back. And that, that simple pleasure that I had was not over. That's not how it works with Jesus. When you work with Jesus and, and you feel that he gives you that peace, that peace transcends whatever's going on in your life. Now, that situation may not change right away, but you still have you still have the peace of Jesus and God with you because you know that he's going to get you through it. So let's go to Jesus' house. That's the church. And let's talk to him by reading his word and understand what he wants for us and understand how he wants to, to, to share with us that peace, that everlasting peace, that living water that he wants to give us so that we will not thirst again, so that, so that when we are up against trials and tribulations, we still have that inner peace that only God, that only God can give us. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day.